Hello to all of my beautiful, gorgeous, and darling and diverse friends out in YouTube land. I am coming to you today from this huge outlet mall, which actually has a Disney outlet um, store in it as well. It's called Theme Park Outlet. It is on Apopka Vineland Road in Kissimmee. And I thought this place is huge. Like I thought it was just a character outlet, but it's huge. There's tons of outlet stores here. It would probably be impossible to cover all of it in one vlog, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a heck of a try. We're gonna start in the theme park outlet. I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that they have in there, some of the character things. And we're gonna kind of take a walk around the outlet mall. I'm gonna show you some of the stores that are here in Kissimmee in this Jagundo outlet mall. All right, ooh, I just heard thunder. This is like a rainy day idea if you have an umbrella because it is an outdoor mall. Anyway, we're starting in Theme Park Outlet Disney. Let's go see what they have. Besides giant Mickey and Minnie. Oh, look at baby clothes. Always trending. How cute is that? Okay. Baby outfits, $12.99. Looks like for the baby outfits. And onesies are $13.99. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, cute blankets. Passies. Oh, I remember the day of passies. $4.99 for three pacifiers. That's actually not too bad. Moving up to the older kids. $13.99 still, actually. That's not bad. That looks like an outfit that would fit maybe like a five-year-old. It's been a while since I've had little ones, but I'll check that out. Wakanda forever. Um, so I told Chloe a joke. I don't think she thought it was funny. But she's cute. $13.99 for Chloe. That's actually a pretty big size Chloe. Then they have a littler one. What is the price on her? $7.99. Oh, I love Chloe. I love that movie. Bunnies, puppies. Lots of stuffed animals here. It's a lot of stuffed animals and clothing. But I have my eye on this. My name Stitch. $15.99, you guys. This huge sweatshirt. What size? This has got to be like an XL or something. Yes, 2XL, $15.99. That's way cheaper than you would find a Stitch sweatshirt for in the parks. I'm just saying, they have Harry Potter stuff as well. $10.99 for that shirt. That's great. And it's, it's like classic, Sorcerer's Stone. They have Gryffindor shirts, also $10.99. Oh, and Walking Dead, that was unexpected. They have minis for $13.99. And body wash in case mini gets dirty. It's $1.99 for the body wash. Everything here is actually really, really, really reasonably priced. That is such a cute Snow White t-shirt, a ray of sunshine, $4.99. Wow, that's pretty impressive actually. Look at these minis. These are so cool. These are really, really colorful. These are $12.99 as well, but they have kind of the iridescence, like mermaidy colors on them. And even Mickey does. Metallic-y, sparkly, mermaidy. Very cool. They have backpacks as well, of which this is my favorite. $14.99 for the backpacks. Amazingly good price. $8.99 for this giant fluffy pillow. And these cute little guys are $3.99. For all you pin traders out there, it looks like they're $5.99 to $6.99 here. And they have a big variety of pins. Very, very cool. So this would be a really great place to get your pins reasonably priced for all of you pin trading friends. Okay, so that definitely wasn't the biggest Disney um, character outlet store I've ever seen, but the prices are really good in there. And you know, they have enough of a variety that if you're looking for something for someone 
like a gift for someone and you don't want to spend the prices that you know you normally find in the parks or in Disney Springs or whatever that's actually a really good place to find some Disney gifts there's a lot of Disney um, like gift outlets and gift shops and things like that where you can find really good prices on Disney stuff so definitely if you're down here for vacation or you're living here or whatever if you're looking for a Disney gift for someone check out some of these outlets first because you can get some fantastic Disney stuff same stuff that you find in like the parks and things like that for like maybe half the price or 70% of the price it's a really good deal so anyway let's go see what else we can find here all right we are walking past Converse pretty self-explanatory what Converse is. They have, um, you know, gear, Converse gear. Um, I'm actually seeing some, oh, what are they called? Fanny packs and stuff. That's so hipster, dude. Oh my gosh, I totally just got a fanny pack. Anyway, <laughs> I used to wear fanny packs with my kids all the time. They have like Converse t-shirts and sweatshirts and obviously shoes and things like that. We're also passing Le Blush Cosmetics and Perfumes, which looks like almost like a smaller version of like a Sephora or something. They have quite a variety in there, but where I am heading is Tommy Hilfiger because I love Tommy Hilfiger clothing. So when I first walked in, there's a table that has a 40% off sale, but hey, I'm just saying my friends that grew up in the 80s, don't even pretend that you don't remember these polos. I'm just saying. Hilfiger jean jackets, 30% off of $129.99. My math majors, what would that be? That is a very cool jean jacket. And again, pretty 80s. They have the classic Hilfiger sweatshirts, which are super, super soft. I love these, $69.99, but that's 30% off as well. Look at these sweats, these are so cute. They have some Tommy perfumes and colognes at 20% off. Watches at 40% off. And a noisy speaker. Very cool socks. Look at these socks. You guys, 75% off. This is actually a lot of really good Hilfiger deals in here, guys. It was pretty noisy in there, so it was kind of hard to vlog, but that is a huge Tommy Hilfiger outlet. They've had these really cool Hilfiger backpacks also for $34.99, which is a really good price. Um, I looked them up online, and even the cheaper version online is like $44.99, so that is actually a really good price. Hilfiger's got a lot of good deals in there, and let's go see what else they've got. Okay, we're coming up by a huge Nike outlet store which is also very noisy inside, but there's this place called Roz and Alley that we don't have up in Michigan, so I'm gonna go check that out. So Roz and Alley is sizes two to 24, and oh my gosh, I just found my favorite clothing store. I am, I'm usually dressed really plain, but I'm so a bohemian girl, and this store, oh my gosh, I love it. I even love how it smells in here <laughs> anyway. Oh, this shirt is so cool. This is a dress barn shirt, $44.95. They have a, like, they must have different brands in here. I see all dress barn stuff so far though, $34.95. This one is $44.95. That is so cute. Super, super cute clothing, you guys. $34.95 for the shirt. So it looks like a lot of the shirts run like $30 to $45 depending. Some of them are on sale, but <gasps> ooh, and these super cute sandals, $44.95. I'll take a pair. I just found pretty much my favorite skirt ever. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's so pretty. $44.95 for the skirt. And I love that outfit as well. $64.95. I think I just need about a mm, $2,000 spending spree in Rosin Alley. They have a big clearance section in the back of Rosin Alley as well that was 60% off. So guess where I'm going back to soon? Oh my gosh, there's so many clothes I want in there. Ah. This is pretty cool, you guys. They have a TravelX Worldwide Money Currency Exchange here. So if you are shopping at this outlet mall on Apopka Vineland Road in Kissimmee, there's a currency exchange, which is pretty cool. I actually don't see that a whole lot. Okay, we're coming up on Old Navy. I'm gonna try and get some of the stores that I haven't seen, so I know you guys probably haven't seen, but let's go see what else we can find. 
Okay, we are passing by a Rawlings store, which has a ton, a ton, a ton of sports equipment in it, fit and shoes. There's a Crocs store. I'm totally going in there. So I come from the days where Crocs are just plain old shoes with holes in them, but apparently I have been living under a rock because look at this. They look so different now and they have sandals and the sandals still have little holes in them. Um, yeah, I was unaware. How cute are these? The lady just said that everything in here is buy two, get one free. Very cool. Okay, you guys, how stinking cute are these little, oh my God, they're so little, they're $29.99. I totally need to get a pair of these and send these to Tim and Jen Tracker. Oh my gosh, they're so little. So call me crazy, but did you guys know that Crocs had so many, there's way more options for like shoes and sandals and stuff in there. There's so many different like styles of shoes and sandals by Crocs. I had no idea. When I think Crocs, I think like, you know, the shoes with all the holes in the, <laughs> anyway. Who knew? Onward. They have a US Polo Association store. They have a Wilson's leather outlet. I didn't even know that Wilson still existed. Like I have a mall back in Kalamazoo that was near us called Crossroads. And yeah, I haven't seen Wilson's in like 20 years. So there's a Wilson's leather here for anybody that is interested in those types of goods. This is Under Armour, up to 40% off the entire store. There's a Calvin Klein and let's see what's further down that way. For Van Heusen and Izod fans, there is a store here that has up to 80% off of the already marked down prices, which, you know, hence is the reason it's called an outlet. There's an American Eagle here, 60% off. It looks like 50 to 60% off their clearance. There's Justice Hockey Samsonite. Um, I'm seeing a huge guest store, Aeropostale. Pretty much everything you would see in a basic mall, but I'm finding that the prices are a lot less. Like American Eagle, all the clearance jeans are $24.99. They actually do have a big difference in prices here. So if you want to get some good deals, this would be the place to do it. You guys, someone left their dog chained up out here. <gasps> oh, you poor thing. The poor, poor little thing. I'm just kidding, you guys. This is a toy company. Let's go check it out. That was the first one I've come across that she didn't want me to film in there, which is perfectly fine. They had a ton of pop characters, you guys, like um, Rick and Morty and Disney pop characters. And you know what the pop dolls are. They remind me of, you know that movie Big Eyes? The artist that made the Big Eye um, paintings. That's what the pop dolls remind me of for some reason. But anyway, they had a lot of baby dolls as well that looked like the real newborns. Which creeps me out a little bit. But that's okay. Anyway... It was a very, very small toy store. I'm gonna head that way to see what else we can find. Timberland store here is buy one, get one 50% off. They have a Samsung store, Reebok, Oshkosh. This is a huge Gap outlet. Eddie Bauer, a Loft outlet. Oh, they do have and not that it's a big deal, but they do have a food court here as well. You guys, it's really good prices. It looked like it was like three to five dollars for a kielbasa or a hot dog. Like if you are shopping and because you could easily spend half a day in this outlet mall, like easily. So if you're hungry, it's like three to five or three to six dollars for a hot dog or kielbasa. They have pizza and stuff in there. It's a Pepsi food court and they have ice cream, pizza, burgers, salads, beer and more. So they have beer as well. So. You know, if mom or dad need to stop off and get a cold one, you can do that right here. So I just found VF and I'm like, what is VF? Oh, it's Vanity Fair, duh. So we're gonna go take a little peek in Vanity Fair. Looks like they've got some irregular shorts out here that are $9.99, which is kind of interesting. But anyway, let's go see what Vanity Fair has. Holy wow, you guys, this store is like huge. I've actually never been in a Vanity Fair store before. Are they usually huge? I don't know, this one's really big. Anyway, let's go see what kind of deals they have. So first thing, I see some fun backpacks, which are $19.99. They have Puma, and it says 
But these are $24.99, regularly $35. I don't know. I mean, do you guys feel like that's a good deal? I feel like that's just kind of an average price. I found a lot of good prices, but okay, like these are irregular jeans. By irregular, I don't know what it means. Maybe it just means that there's like a little bit of stitching off or whatever. The jeans that I've looked at so far don't really see anything wrong with them, but Urban Pipeline is $7.99, Rustler jeans are $8.99, Wrangler Irregulars are $9.99. They have Lee Irregulars, $11.99. I mean, honestly, ripped jeans are a thing, so why, why not wear some Irregular jeans? I don't know. Big and Tall Polos, $9.99, which are the super long for our tall guys and girls. There's $14.99 clearance, which are, it looks like mostly Lee jeans over here. I don't know about you guys, but irregular, I mean, honestly, if they fit well, hey, sounds good to me. These Hawaiians, which are really cool, are priced at $19.99, but it says take an additional 25% off. So that's actually a really good deal. It'd be around $15 for the Hawaiians. And then they have, you know, like some basic T-shirts, $11.99, would be 25% off of that. It looks like this whole section is clearance. Oh, they have the vintage shirts. I know that Columbia does those as well. Um, you know, with the material that keeps you drier longer when you're sweating and things like that. But they have Wrangler shorts, which I, I love this material. It's almost like a bathing suit material, but it lays like really nice, $9.99. They do have some really good prices in here. I don't... I'm not, I'm not really that impressed with the backpack prices, but the rest of them look pretty good. Um, hello, darling. Um, what do you suppose this, uh, store sells? Uh, yeah, they'd be just watches. That's it, just, just watches. Except there's necklaces right there. It's 50% off, though. They actually have some really cute necklaces in there, but the name of this is just watches. But where I'm headed is to the world of coffee. They have fresh juice here, which I'm all for, but what the heck is watermelon? Let's try some. It's too bad that I already had ice cream today because they have ooh, red velvet revival. They have ice cream here. Check out these pastries, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is in World of Coffee. Look at this, you guys. Chocolate baklava cheesecake. Oh my gosh. Sweet potato maple layer cheesecake. Sweet potato maple yeah. layer cheesecake. They have classic baklava, nuts, numora, numul. I'm pronouncing that wrong. I know I am. I'm butchering it. Pecan bird nest, cashew queen, chocolate dip, flageres. I'm not sure how you pronounce some of these, but wow. And then they have savory stuff as well. Chicken cream cheese, coxina. Mango lime cheesecake, Cinnabon cinnamon swirl cheesecake, black raspberry ombre cake. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Talk about a hidden gem. Wow. So they have shakes here. It looks like they have a lot of Greek food. They have hummus. Um, well, they do have ciabatta. They have spanakopita, fish and chips, euros, croissants sandwiches. They have breakfast, lunch, and dinner here as well, along with some really epic coffee. Look at these Turkish delights. Wow. So World of Coffee is flipping amazing. Oh my gosh, they have so much in there, like pastries and, and savory, savory and sweet pastries. I'm actually going to go back in there and get a Turkish delight. Those look really, really good, you guys. I'm really blown away by the the variety and you know the the different ethnicities of the pastries in there that was sweet potato maple cheesecake like they got a, oh my gosh yum anyway i'm i'm like literally drooling right now <laughs> all right moving on just kind of wrap this up there's this Farrell's irish pub next door and because i have a lot of Irish heritage let's put it that way. I wanted to see the menu over here. So let's go see what's on Farrell's Irish Pub's menu. It's literally right next door to the outlet mall. I don't know if this is a hotel. 
It looks to be maybe a hotel. I, I mean, it could be condos, but well, here I'll show you. Pub next door. I need to find out. I'm sure there's a sign out front, which if I was a responsible vlogger, I would have looked to see what that was. <laughs> anyway, this is right next door to the outlet mall. Somebody's gonna be missing a flip flop. How could you like miss it? I just, hey, oh my gosh, look, I'm barefoot on one foot. I don't know, anyway. Okay, I thought I saw where they had the menu outside. I gotta find it. Okay, so I just talked to a very, very sweet server here and she was explaining that they do have shepherd's pie and some traditional um, Irish food, but it looks like they have like a Southwest barbecue burger for $11.95. Berto's fish tacos, yum. $2.99, that's actually uh, an appetizer. They cut their steaks fresh every day and make their shepherd's pie fresh every day. It looks like a 12 ounce charbroiled steak with onions and mushrooms is $22.95. They have salads, appetizers, so. Ooh, look at that, Reuben. Yeah, we might have to come visit very, very soon. So that will definitely be a restaurant we're going to eat at because I love Irish food. I absolutely love shepherd's pie. Yeah, and theirs is made with lamb and beef. Um, they have a lot of American stuff on the menu, but they have Irish things as well. I'm pretty excited to try Farrell's Pub. Again, I'm on Apopka Vineland Road in Kissimmee. One of the things I encourage people to do 100%, if you have time, I know that sometimes when we're on vacation and things like that. I, I get it. We're in a hurry. We, you know, if you have the kids with you or whatever, and it's hard. It's really hard to go exploring. But if you have time, go explore. There's so many hidden gems here. I did a video on Plaza del Sol Mall, which has so much authentic ethnic food from Mexico and Colombia and Cuba. They have clothing and just goods from all over. The world and this this place is like it's so full of diversity with food and goods and clothing and things like that I mean this is great I love these outlet malls because I save so much money on Ryan's clothes and stuff when I go to them as opposed to a regular mall which I pretty much never do <laughs> but you guys if you ever get a chance here in Kissimmee and Orlando there's a Popka, there's Winter Garden, there's Winter Haven. You know, we're not too far from Titusville and Mims. Um, there's so much to explore here, so go explore. You know, this place has got so many hidden gems, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a hidden gem series as well because there's so much I want to show you guys here that I drive by every day, and I'm like, why is it not on YouTube? <laughs> anyway. I'm so glad that you guys can come with me today. There's so much to explore here in the outlet malls and I highly, highly encourage you to do so because you will save so much money and have so much fun. But at any rate, um, a lot of exciting things coming up. I'm actually gonna do a vlog of Saratoga, Sp Saratoga Springs. Um, I'm gonna be, you know, like I said, at the opening of the Skyliner, there's a lot more I have to vlog. I have a list of about 100 things I want to do, and that's just to begin with. So I'm so excited, you guys. This was just a little walk through an outlet mall. And I don't know, maybe the beginning of my Hidden Gem series. So anyway, I will see you all again very soon. Until I do, mwah, keep your flip-flops sandy and your shopping at the outlet malls. Bye, guys.